the dance. Line up for the dance. Emperor, bishop, townsman, farmer, rich and poor, great and small, come to me. No use crying. Happy are those who thought ahead to this time and accrued many good works to free themselves from sin. Today is the day. Dance to my tune. death, your sudden appearance freezes the marrow of my bones. Kings, princes, and lords had to bow before me and honor me, so that now I shall mercilessly become just like you, death, slime of the earth. I was leader and protector of men, yet you make me into a meal for worms. Emperor, sir, even though you were the most highborn here, from now on you shall dance alongside me. Yours was the sword of justice, to resolve disputes, to alleviate suffering. But the pursuit of fame and glory made you blind, and you did not see your own great sin. That is why my call rings so ominously in your ears. Hold on, Bishop. Begin the dance. Where shall I go? Nowhere can I flee from you. 
If I look before or behind me, I feel you always nearby. Death, what does it matter? My godly position to you. I must leave everything that I have found and at that hour become more despised than a filthy, stinking dog. You should have known better than others that all men must die. In this earthly realm, you stood in the steed of God's apostles, that you rode on a high horse with arrogant ways. Now your pride has turned into fear. Noble men, hold out your hand. Death, I beg you, hold off. Let me catch my breath before you deal with me. I spent my time wickedly and gave little thought to dying. I thought of nothing but drinking and debauchery. I fleeced and harassed my subjects. Now I must go, whether I want to or not, not knowing my destination. Had you used your wealth to advocate for the poor, you would certainly have more courage now. But who could speak of misery and want in front of you, the great Lord? You attend your own grandeur, unprepared for my coming. Now you are absolutely panic-stricken. Doctor, step up to the dance. I was your adversary. I helped many people sorely suffering from disease to escape from your grasp. 
Now you come for me, death. Neither art nor medicine can help in vain. I search for a pulse. You shall see all of my weakness. What verdict will I receive? A just judgment awaits you, according to your works here on earth. All you have done lies revealed to God. You risk the lives of many, the poor and sick, and you change dearly. You did not share your knowledge cheaply, but flamboyantly flaunted your learning. Businessman, quickly get ready. many a difficult journey, but none so hard as this. If I may only balance out my final account, I trust that death will not be too displeased with me. He who honestly plies his trade and charges no more than is due him, he will be rewarded with justice when all stand before the judge. If you perpetrated no fraud, your accounting will be true, with no need for further entries. Come here, mercenary. I await you. seeks me. Often did I create mortal peril for others. Now the sharp sword has turned against me. Will no one grant me mercy? I beg you, death, let me live. Let me be of better service to God, whom I ignored throughout my career. Just step forward. No lament will help you. You must carry your own pack. Truly, it is weighing you down enough. Your deeds testify truthfully to what good and evil you have done. Your payment will be based on that. No one can save you from judgment. Captain, your time has come.
I do not know, Death, how it could happen. I have often seen you close to me, but when I came ashore, all good intentions were forgotten. Sinful Adam, shameless and lustful, betrayed my better self. Now I stand in the throes of sin. Help me, dear Lord, by your death. Had you kept your word of God right before your eyes since your youth, and thereafter diligently practiced it, you would not stand here in such distress. You could see the end clearly enough. Now your regrets count for nothing. Take in your sails, abandon your cargo. Come, devout man, follow me. Dying would bring me little suffering were I but thoroughly prepared with my conscience free and clear. Often did evil overtake me with great and oppressive temptations. Lord, take away my sins. I confess and repent from the bottom of my heart. Have mercy on me in this final hour. You may go dancing joyfully. In heaven you will rise again. Such work as you have done allows the soul to soar. Many of the faithful would have benefited from following your example, but now there they stand, bitter. Step into the dense circle, farmer. Therefore, 
don't worry yourself over much. Pretty maiden, I desire you next. May I turn down your proposal and live a little longer, still young and beautiful? I've only just begun to taste earthly pleasures. Who wants to spend time disagreeably? Shame on you that you followed behind me to catch me in your net. Oh, let me savor the happiness of earth. I'll turn pious in my old age. Sneaking around at night, just like a thief, this is my want. The young are concerned only with themselves, Human pleasures are hollow. No one can make a permanent abode there. Soon you become sated with earthly indulgence. Now, follow my lead and dance willingly. Drag yourself out of bed, old man. Get up. death, how I've waited for you. My journey of suffering was all too long. Could you not find this poor old man? Were you ordered to punish my sins? Sickness is certainly a horrible curse. What goes on in the world today, I will not see. So may God forgive my failings and let me into his eternal life. Come, old one, take me by the hand, as you now shall go to the other land. Soon you will forget your suffering as you sit at God's feet. There, lovely melodies of angel choirs will delight your ears, and all strife will dissolve into harmony. Follow me now, babe in the cradle.
Oh, death, I don't understand. I'm supposed to dance but cannot yet walk? How can you raise the call that I shall die before living, depart before I arrive, have it taken away before it was given? Oh, how terribly my mother is crying. Oh, please, send me back to earth. God knows why he sends me with my flute, and which innocence he draws to himself. God knows why he allows the good and the evil to live long and briefly, pursuing their ways. I'll play for your peace. I'll play for your torment. I'll play for you in God's eternal hall. I play so loud that everyone can hear me. Who shall it be? Who returns to God? <laughs>